Buenas noches. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo han estado? ¿Todo bien? Todo bien, todo bien. <ríe> qué bueno, qué ¿Ya bueno. listos para la clase? Ya, ready. Yes. <ríe> Bye. Ok, vamos a comenzar. Espero que hayan tenido un feliz día de trabajo, de estudio, no sé. Um, vamos a dar inicio a la clase. Por favor, mantengamos siempre las cámaras encendidas. Si no estamos utilizando el micrófono, por favor, eh, desactivarlo y únicamente activarlo cuando vayan a participar. Entonces, eh, el día de ayer estuvimos viendo un tema, ¿verdad? Um, I'm going to ask you some questions. Yesterday, we were studying the use of uh, the simple present, but I want to make a review. What is the first rule? If you can check on the chat, the first rule. What is the first rule for third person singular? First rule. Uh, Samuel, what is the first rule that we use for third person singular? Uh, you are on uh, mute. Mm -hmm. el... <clears throat> what do we el... do with, with the majority of the verbs? Okay, the, the first, el, the, el, no, no, no me recuerdo cómo se menciona. Okay, the first rule, Miguel, please, Miguel. What is the first rule for the verbs? For he, she, and it. Is in the verbs. Mm -hmm. What do we do with the majority of the verbs? Is R, E, and S. Okay. To the majority of the verbs, we add the letter S. Like, S. for example, work, he, she, and it. Works. Works. Play, he, she, and it. Plays. Plays. Okay. A study, he, she, and it. A studies. Okay. In, in this case, is. E and S. Okay. So, but let's let's focus just on the letter S. Uh, walk. He, she, and it. Uh, please repeat me the word. He, she, and it. And the verb is walk. Walk. Uh-huh. What is walk? Walk. Ah, walk. Uh -huh. uh, walks. Walks. Okay, walks. excellent. So the majority of the verbs, we are going to add letter S. Excellent. Edwin, Adriana, Maria Santos, please turn your cameras on. Your camera, please. And Norma Leticia. Eugene, your camera, please. Okay. Uh, Ephemer. What is the second rule for he, she, and it? What happens if the a verb ends in letter Y? What do we do? With letter Y, we have to add, we have to replace the letter Y and add I, E, S. So we eliminate the yeah. letter Y, right? He, she, uh, the, the verb study, he, she, and it. Uh, replace the letter Y with I. How will you say? Studies. Uh, what is the other? Cry. He, she, and it. Cries. Type. He, she, and it. Types. Excellent. And what is the last rule? What is the last rule? Uh, and in the other verbs, uh, only add uh, I and S. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want to listen to a sec a second opinion. 
Adriana Garcia, what is the third rule that we have for third person in the simple present? Eh, ver, eh, no puedo decir en español porque no sé cómo. Um, ok. Los verbos que terminan en ye serán cambiados mm, por... No. That rule we already discussed. When the verb ends in letter X, double S, um. CH, letter O, we're going to add ES. E ES. Yes. Okay. For example, for the verb go, Silvia Esther, he, she, and it. Uh, what bird? Go. Oh, go. Goes. He, she, and it goes. Goes. Samuel, the bird teach. He, she, and it teaches. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Patricia Lizeth. The verb is kiss. He, she, and it. Alexandra Yamilev. Kiss. Oh, kiss. Go ahead, kiss. Patricia. Kisses. 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 Okay. Geraldine. The bird teach. He, she, and it. Teaches. Teaches. Okay. Okay. All right. Excellent. Now, let's see. Uh, Sylvia Esther, ask one question to Catherine using the simple present. You can use the list of questions. There are 40 questions. I sent you to the WhatsApp group. Okay, understand. Yeah. So, Catherine, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Catherine, where do you live? Where do you live, Catherine? Where do you I live, live Catherine? in Canada. Thank you. Catherine, ask the question to Norma, Leticia, using the simple present. Um, Leticia? Leticia, right? Yes, Norma, Leticia. Uh, Leticia, um, what kind of movies do you like? What kinds of movies do you like? Oh, I like movies the action. I like action movies. Oh, action movies. Thank you. Norma, ask the question to Brenda Claribel. Y primero le digo el nombre y luego la pregunta. O cómo. No, ask the question. English. Oh, question. Okay. okay, English. Um, where do you study? Where do you study, Brenda? I am, I am study English Corporativo. I study at English Corporativo. Excellent. Great. Brenda, sele, let's see, ask the question to Alejandro. Alejandro, what language do you speak? Excellent. What languages do you speak? Only one. You speak Spanish and English. Uh, only two. one. Uh, three. Two. Only two. Two, two, two. Okay, you can say, I speak Spanish and English. Aunque, aunque no están en nivel avanzado, pero ya usted, ustedes ya no son básicos. Ya manejan más o menos las, las oraciones, el nivel de inglés. Entonces tienen que decir... I speak Spanish and English. Okay. Uh, let's see. Edwin, Norma Lizeth, Francisco, Hector Jose, turn the cameras on. Mantengan sus cámaras encendidas, por favor. Okay. Alejandro, ask the question to David. Uh, David, uh, how do you spell your, your last name? How do you spell your last name? David. Okay, ask the question to somebody else. Okay, Alejandro said, 
How do you spell your last name? My last name is Rivera. How do you spell it? R mm -hmm. E I B uh -huh. A E A R I. Okay. Rivera will be R I V E R A. Rivera. Rivera. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Eugene, ask the question. Eh, la disculpa del caso, Fico, voy saliendo del trabajo, que de un, hubo un inconveniente, entonces aquí voy en la motocicleta. It's pero, okay. pero, pero, pero solamente busco un restaurante y ya me conecto más tranquilo. Excellent. Thank you, David. Thank you. Okay, okay. Eugenio, ask the question to somebody else. Select another classmate. I don't. I, I don't see that. What don't you see? Uh, the classmates. Uh, uh, I see a lot I of classmates. I can ask question. <laughs> you can ask a question to one of your classmates. Okay, let me select one for you. I mean, Joanna Stephanie. Okay, what's your question, Eugene? For Joanna Stephanie. Hi, Joanna. Uh, Hi. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where do you live? Where do you live? Hola. Where do you live? That's the question. Hey. Joanna, do you understand? Okay, if I ask you the question, Brenda, what will be your answer? Where do you live? I I live in the city Sayapango. In Sayapango City. Excellent. Great. Okay, so Joanna, where do you live? Hello. Okay. Thank you guys. And we are going to continue with today's class. Thank you for the participation. And that is going to help you in order to complete the exercises. Okay, let's start by sharing the computer screen. And once you can see my computer screen, just let me know, please. Can you see it or not yet? Hello? Yes, right yeah, now. I see it. Yes, I think. Yes, Thank I you. Luis, Miguel, can you please read the objective for today's lesson? <clears throat> In this lesson, you will listen to conversation where, where time expression are first introduced. Introduced. In this lesson, we, uh, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and play a video that you will be able to see it in some seconds related to time expressions. And after this, I'm going to teach you uh, some important or very important information that you need to know in order to express time in English. That's simple. You just need to take some things and rules into consideration. There you go. Once you can listen to the video, let me know, please. I think it's loading. In this lesson, you will listen. Can you listen to? Yes. Yes, I can listen. Yes, Great. I am. Listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay. 
Thank you. Now, let me go ahead and stop the uh, stop sharing and we're going to follow the conversation. I sent you the picture to the WhatsApp group. Do you have it? Yes. Les mandé esa yes. misma conversación al grupo de WhatsApp. Okay. I want to yes. listen to Lydia and also Patricia following the, the same conversation I sent you on WhatsApp. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess I have a teacher. Hey, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am TV announcer. I do wear a report on TV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you Helen Black. I love you show by the way I am Daniel. Okay, thank you. An applause for both of them. Great, great job. Okay, so Jenny Elizabeth and Luis Miguel. One, two, three, action. Uh, teacher, uh, no encuentro. Ah, ya lo bloqueé. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I sent it like two hours ago. Okay, uh, I am Daniel. Okay. Yes. So do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Brother. Really? What time do you do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you what do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you re, recall? I no sé cómo se Don't you recognize me? Do you recognize me? Oh, you really you you Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I am Daniel. Thank you. An applause for Luis and Jenny. Great job. Great job. Awesome. Alejandro and let's see. And Alexandra. Alejandro and Alexandra. <clears throat> One, two, three, action. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Whoa, what that day? When do you get home high night night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That's it late. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, sorry. I forget the pronunciation of this word. Don't you recognize me? Uh, don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love, I love your show. By the way, I am Daniel. Thank you. 
Héctor Bonilla and Sandra Asensio. Please turn your cameras on. Okay, I, I have Kevin and I need the last volunteer. Kevin and the last volunteer. One volunteer. Hi. Okay, Kevin and Sylvia Stair. Thank you. <clears throat> Kevin, are you ready? Do you have the conversation ready? Uh, I have a problem with my computer now. Okay. Uh, I can practice uh, after, please. It's okay. Okay. So, Sylvia and Geraldine. Thank you, Geraldine. Uh, I done it. Okay. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you re recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Thank you. An applause. Great. Okay. Thank you guys for turning your micros on off. Gracias por tener sus micrófonos apagados. Yo también lo hago cuando alguien está participando para evitar interruptions. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and share my computer screen one more time because I want to show you something. I want to show you something. And let me go ahead and check something else before moving. I'm going to read the lesson objective. It says, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as preposition of time and adverbs of time. Prepositions of time and adverbs of time. First of all, I want to show you the prepositions of time. Um, can you see my computer's screen or not yet? Yes, I can see it. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So there you have my picture right there, which is something that I didn't want to show you. But anyways, it appears. Let me go ahead and check. Okay. There you have prepositions of time. Why is that so important, the prepositions of time? The prepositions of time, it's important to know about them in order to provide the time. In order to talk about dates, okay, a specific time, etc. There you have the first one, at. Silvia, when do we use at? That is used for precise times. Precise times precise or a specific time. times. Example, you can say at 10.30 a.m. or at 8 o'clock. Thank you. Kevin, when do we use in? Okay. <clears throat> in is used for months, years, decades, decades, centuries, decades. Uh, centuries, centuries, and, centuries, uh, long periods of time. Okay, example, in 16 years time. The last one, ephemer, when do we use on? On is used for days and dates. For example, on a summer evening, on Christmas day. Okay. Let me go ahead and show you some other examples. There you have, you can say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the summer, in 1980, in the 
hundreds. You can also say on Monday, on Saturday, on June 3rd, on October 1st, 2013, on Christmas Day. Okay? And at, you can say at 9 a.m., at 8 o'clock, at 6 p.m., at night, at noon, or midday. For example, Catherine, when is your birthday? My birthday is on August 2nd. August 2nd. Thank you. Adriana, what time do you go to sleep? I go to sleep at 9 p.m. Excellent. You see, we're using the prepositions of time, right? I go to sleep at 9 p.m. Okay. Um, Jose Alejandro, when do you go to the gym? In the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening? Uh, I go to the gym in the morning. In the morning. Francisco Valdomar, what time do you eat your lunch? I mean, your dinner? Repeat. What time do you eat your dinner? Your dinner. Yes. You have in the breakfast. Morning. Really? Your dinner. You have breakfast, lunch, and you also have dinner. What time do you eat your dinner? Breakfast in the morning, uh -huh. and dinner in the night. At sit, night. Sit at six o'clock. At six o'clock. Excellent. Six okay. Questions, guys? Do you have questions? ¿Qué significa midday? Midday. Okay, mm -hmm. at noon, 12 p.m. Okay. Midday, 12 p.m. Okay, so let's see. Lydia, when do you work out? When do you work out? When do you go to the gym? That's the meaning. When do you work out? Do you work out in the morning? Do you work out in the afternoon? Or do you work out in the evening? Uh, do you work in the afternoon? I work out in the afternoon. Okay. What day do you go to the church, Alejandro Valladares? What day do you go to the church? Do you go on Saturday or do you go on Monday? <clears throat> Saturday. Saturday. Thank you. Next question. Let's go to Sylvia. When's your birthday, Sylvia? My birthday is on 15 July. On July 15th. On July 15th. Thank you. First is the month and then the day. Okay. Right. What time do you go to sleep, Brenda? Sorry. I go to the sleep in the night, 9 p.m. At 9 p.m. Excellent. Samuel, mm -hmm. what time do you eat your dinner? Uh, repeat again, please. Sure. What time do you eat your dinner? Okay, at 7 p.m. I eat my dinner at 7 okay. p.m. Okay. <laughs> Complete it. Repeat. Okay. I eat my dinner at 7 p.m. Excellent. That's much better. Great. Just remember something, guys. Every time you answer something, you should answer the question using complete sentence. Is it clear? Complete sentence. Okay. Complete answers. Ephemer, when is your mother's birthday? Uh, my mother's birthday is it's on April. April? Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. And what's the uh, day? Uh, my mom kills me. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, I think uh, 14th, I think. On April 14th? How can yeah. you forget your mother's birthday? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it's okay. Um, Miguel, are you married? Yes, are you married? Okay. When is your wife's birthday? It's birthdays. Wife, my wife. My wife's birthday is on. My my wife's birthday is on. Five. April five. April fifth. Fifth. April fifth. Excellent. Great. Now, guys, since we are talking about prepositions of time, how many do we have? How many prepositions Three. of time? Three. Three. Excellent. What are the prepositions of time? At, in, At. and on. Excellent. Great. Okay, now, what time is it? Look at the clock. From six, I'm sorry, from 12 here, let me write it down. I'm going to use a pencil here. Okay, look at this. Okay, from here, from 12 to six, you say past. Is it clear? Yes? Um, and from 12 to 6, you say past. An example? I'm going to give you some examples. I just want you to understand the clock first. Is it clear? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then from 12 to 6, you say past. From 6 to 12, you say two. Is it clear? Well, Lo que quiero es que entiendan primero cómo funciona el reloj en inglés. Questions or no questions? Yes, yes, yes I have. I have a question. Okay, what's your question? I understand the past is in the morning or afternoon. Mm. From 12 to 6. Or oh, any hour. Exactly. It can be in the morning, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. From 6 to 12 is 2. It can be in the morning, from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. Or from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Clear? For, exa for example, to what's our and uh, now is is that ten no or is to ten verify okay right now is eight eight thirty two right so how will it be if I ask you what time is it? How will you say? Is two? Eight. If, let's say yes. that is, let's say that is 8.30. 8.30, okay? So how will it be? Will it be 30 to nine? or 30 past eight, what would mm. be the right answer? 30 to nine, 30 to nine. or 30, to nine. 30, past past 30 past eight. 30 past eight. <laughs> Thank okay. you, I understand. Both, yes. 
Both are correct. Both are correct. In that case. Are, are just in past, that case. Past, 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 past eight. Okay. Let's do something. Let's follow the rule from this clock. And let's just select one. That will be 32. Uh huh. Is eight. Is is past the eight? Okay. Let no. me give you. Let me uh -huh. give you other examples. Thirty to nine. That's going to be thirty to nine. Okay. Ten let me go ahead eight. and thirty to nine. Let me give you some other examples. Because I don't, I don't want you to get confused. Let me go ahead and share the computer screen one more time. And once you can see it, just let me know, please. I see it. Okay. I'm going to share with you some examples that I brought. Okay, that I brought here. Remember, from 12 to 6, you are going to say past. Is it clear? From 6 yes. to 12, you're going to say 2. Clear or not clear? Hello. I understand. Okay, thank you. Let me give you one example. Here you have 12 p.m. You can say the time in different ways. These are different ways of saying the time. For example, you can say 12 p.m. or it's 12 o'clock. You can also say it's noon, mediodía, it's noon, or midday, midday. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let me write down here midday, midday. Okay, so you can say it's noon or it's midday, but you also have 12 a.m. You can say 12 a.m. or it's 12 o'clock. Is it clear? Yes. You can also say midnight. Midnight. Medianoche. Midnight. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, I. Okay. Yes. With this time, you have different ways of saying the time. So for example, this one, 9.30 will be, you can say it's 9.30 or it's 30 to 10 or it's 30 past nine. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Awesome. There you also have 815. You can say it's 815 or it's 15 past eight or it's quarter, it's quarter past eight. Un cuarto pasado de las ocho. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. Clear. Awesome. Okay. 
it's 9.30, 8.30 to 10. We're going to eliminate this one, guys, to focus on the clock, okay? And here you have this other time, different ways of saying the time. I'm going to select Samuel. How will you say this time, Samuel? If okay, we have different uh, options of saying the time. Okay, it's uh, uh, 7.45. It's, it's 7.45, uh, yes. Yeah, it's uh, 15, 15 to 8. 15 to 8, excellent. Okay. It's a... Uh, no, no, no sé cómo... Cómo decirlo de la otra manera. It's a quarter. It's... To eight. A quarter, okay, okay. It's a, qu a quarter to eight, to eight. It's a quarter to eight. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm going to select Ephemer. The first option. Okay, it's six twenty. It's six twenty, and it's twenty past six. six? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I don't know that way. It's forty. Forty two. Well, in this case, it doesn't apply because we only have 30. So 620 and it's 20 past six. Okay, Catherine, how will you say this time in different options? Um, it's 5.50. Mm -hmm. It's 5.50. Um, it's um, it's five um two fifty. How many minutes to six? Oh, okay, okay. And the other um. um Alejandro, for for six a.m., how many minutes? Ten minutes. It's ten minutes. Ten minutes, right? So you can say ten to six. It's ten minutes to six. To six. Excellent. Ephemer. How will you say this other time? Different options. How many options can you say? Different ways of saying that time. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Excellent. Like this one, right? It's yeah. 10 o'clock. Uh -huh. And I don't know what is the, the other way in with. It's 10 a.m. In the second way. Uh huh. 10 a.m. and 10 o'clock. Excellent. Okay. Great. Great. <laughs> okay. So let's see, Geraldine, how will you say this time? It's 10. No. No. 11 to 10. It's 11 10. It's 11 10. Mm hmm. It's 10 past to 11. Excellent. And applause for Geraldine. Great, Geraldine. Awesome. Now, let's see. I'm going to select another one. Jenny Elizabeth, how will you say this time? It's 12.15. Mm -hmm. um, it's... 15 past 12. Uh -huh. Or? Or. Um, quarter. Quarter, quarter uh -huh. past 12. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Patricia, how will you say this time? 
it it for thirty five. Thirty five. Mm -hmm. um, it is for how many minutes five. to five? It is for no. It is thirty five past four. No. How many minutes to five? ¿Cuántos minutos faltan para las cinco? Twenty-five to? Twenty-five to five. Yes. Lydia, how many ways can you say with this time? Okay. No, nine. Mm -hmm. It's nine. Uh huh. It's nine fifty-five. It's nine fifty-five. Mm -hmm. And then, how many minutes to to ten? Uh, five. It's five to ten. It's five to ten. Excellent. Questions, guys. No questions. I have a question. Yes. We can, we can I cannot. Add... I cannot question. Okay, yeah. one by one, please. Mm -hmm. We can add, for example, it's five minutes to to ten, for example. Mm -hmm. Or only... it's five minutes to ten. Yes. Ah, okay. Or it's nine fifty-five. Okay. okay. When you speak English, you can play with the language. However, uh, since you are learning, you need to stick on the rules. Cuando, aprende, cuando estás aprendiendo, tenés que apegarte a las reglas. Pero ya cuando hablas el inglés normalmente, puedes decir el, eh, la hora de diferentes formas. Y la idea es que la persona te entienda. Is it clear? Yes? Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm going to write down on the chat some specific time and I'm going to select some of you guys. Like this one, 12, 40. Okay, uh, give me different ways of saying that time. I'm going to select, let's see, Eugene. You can look at the chat and you will need to say, you will need to give me different ways of saying that time. Si no están usando el micrófono, please turn it off. Uh, okay, uh, the time is 12.40. It's 12.40, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's 11. What? The other form could be it's 11 past. No. No. Mm -mm. Alejandro, it's... help him. Uh, it's 12. Uh, mm -hmm. one. one more time, sorry. Uh, what time is it? It's 20 to 1. Excellent. It's 20 to 1. Great. And applause. Yay for Alejandro. Okay. Thank you, Eugene. Now, let's see. Samuel, real time. What time is it now? What time is it now? Different ways of saying the time. Okay, uh, yet for the yet, 12, it's 12 tonight, um, it quarter tonight. No, like quarter that. no, oh, no. quarter solo no, no. cuando faltan 15 minutos. 
Okay, but okay. in this case, there are just two options. The first one, it's 848 or 12 okay. to 9. Okay. An applause. Yay, great. Okay, next. And that's going to be for Kevin. What time is it, Kevin? You can look at the chat. It's uh, 11. Uh, 35 mm -hmm. and the other phone it, it's 20 20 25 to, to 12 excellent great okay so and the next one is going to be for David what time is it David how many how many ways of Say in that time, or how many ways do you have to say that time? <clears throat> uh huh. It's twelve o'clock. Uh huh. And in modern form, is six a.m. Uh huh. And. and it's midnight midnight okay Ana Flores this one how many ways of saying that time do you have look at the chat it's noon uh-huh it's midnight no it's 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, uh-huh. Or? 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Noon, midday as well. You can say midday. midday. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Brenda. It's midday. Okay, awesome. Do you have any question? Is no. it clear? Okay, thank you. Let me go ahead and share my computer's screen one more time. Once you can see it, let me know, please. Can you see my computer's screen? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. it's clear. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm going to play the video before letting you go. And if you can listen to, let me know, please. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m., we have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples. We have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. 
I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. Okay, thank you. And let's see. Now, uh, Miguel, are you here? Yes, I am. Okay, select the best option, please. It says, instructions, complete these sentence with time expressions. And there you have the first one. Which option will you choose? I get up at six. Okay, thank you. Brenda, select the number two. I I think that I go to the to bed late uh, on night. I go to bed late on night. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. Um, Can somebody else help her? It's at it's at, at night. Late at night. Okay, Adriana, select the number three. The number three is at. Okay, but complete the sentence, please. I start work at 7.30 a.m. Okay, awesome. Next, Stephanie Vides, number four. I have a lunch at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay. I have a lunch at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Thank you. Next, Patricia, number five. I spider at 1 a.m. on weekend. Okay. On weekends. Yes. Jenny Elizabeth, number six. I wake up late on Sundays. Okay. Thank you. Next, Leyland, select the number seven. Uh, I watch TV in the evening. Okay. David, select the number eight. Okay. I do my homework on and in. I do my homework in four in the afternoon. Mm, what will be the best option that you are going to select? On for in the afternoon. On for in the afternoon. No. Around. 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 I do Thank my you guys. Around. I four. do my okay, homework. Okay. Alrededor. Around four in the afternoon. Okay. okay. Thanks. You're welcome. So let's see, Kevin. Select the number nine. Okay. I work on weekends day. I work on weekdays. Normally, Seth, number 10, please. I have home early in the morning from my night shift. Okay. I get home early in the morning from, uh, from my night shift. Okay, let's see the result. Excellent guys, great, great job. Great job, I loved it. Okay, now let's see, before letting you go, 
oh, we have a listening skill, but we're going to perform that task tomorrow, okay? We're going to have it pending because we don't have more than, I mean, we just have two more minutes and that will be it. Okay, now in the meantime, I'm going to ask you some questions. So let's see. The question goes to Ephember. What time do you wake up in the morning? I wake up around 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Okay, Samuel, when do you eat? I mean, what time do you eat your lunch? Okay, I eat my lunch at 12, 12 o'clock. Okay, Luis. Um, let's see. When do you do exercises? In the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening? Or when do you work out? Uh, I am, um, no, I do exercise at 6 or 7 p.m. Okay. Great, Luis, select one of your classmates. Ask a question. Catherine uh, Andrea. Okay. Uh, I I have to uh, a question. I have a yes. I, okay, Andrea. Uh, let me see. Uh, Where's, what do you do in the morning every day? Um, repeat the question, please. What do you do in the morning every day? In the morning. Um, No sé si hice bien la pregunta o era para the que question, me the, the question is okay. However, um, she will not be able to use the prepositions of time. Oh, Let's okay. see. What time do you do your homework, Catherine? Oh, okay. Catherine, Andrea? Oh, okay. What um, time do you do the homework? Repeat the question, please. Es que casi no, no te corta un poco. What time do you do your homework? Okay, let me ask Kevin. What time do you do the homework? Or do you do your homework? Uh, sometimes I do my homework in the morning. Excellent. Okay. Or you can say, I do my homework at 7 a.m., around 7 a.m. Ok, guys. Eh, un minuto. ¿Alguna pregunta o duda? ¿Todo claro? I have a question, but uh, mm -hmm. it's not uh, English. Ok, no te preocupes, okay. ya terminamos. Solo un minuto. Ajá. Eh, cuando dicen... O sea, siempre he tenido esta duda. Ok. Siete, eh, 12 a.m. es de noche o de día? Esa es la medianoche. Es en la mañana. A.m. Ok. Y p.m. Es, que es, es mediodía. Es mediodía, correcto. La noche tú puedes decir eh, a.m. o midnight. Medianoche. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero no es PM. PM es para el 12 del mediodía. Lunch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lunch time. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No. Hello, teacher. Ajá. Eh, tal, vez, tal vez porque, bueno, hay disculpe mi ignorancia, tal vez porque no sube el 100% en la clase. Mm -hmm. Pero entender eh, la palabra around. Y si, o sea, se utiliza más que todo cuando no tengo una hora en específica, pero uh -huh. un tiempo estimado, aproximadamente. Exactly. 
Y Correcto. Es esta palabra o hay otra? No. Hay otras, pero en el ejercicio solo comenzar? apareció esa. No. Entonces es como por decir un aproximado o alrededor de. Vaya, entonces no les quito más su tiempo. Si no han cenado, buen provecho. Terminen sí. los ejercicios, por favor. Avancen y nos vemos mañana. Buen provecho. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, everybody. Yeah, tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.